ففروا إلى الله إني لكم منه نذير مبين ولا تجعلوا مع الله إلها آخر إني لكم منه نذير مبين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلاة وسلام على شرف المسلم Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sabi wa salim tasneem Ya Akwa Sifidin Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh You are welcome to this morning This edition of our program I'll be discussing with you this morning Honoring of guests Alhamdulillah wa bihala ameen We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Who has spared our life till this moment And witnessing this month of Ramadan We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Accept Allah this daring As an act of ibadah in Islam, alhamdulillah, we are Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not left anything untouched for us as human beings. Islam is a way of life and a religion. That's why it's normally regarded as Islam or al wadin. Islam is a religion and a way of life. Islam has touches all aspects of our life, ranging from physical, spiritual, economical, emotional, social, and, and many more. In this, in the same, in this vein, Honoring of guests is one of the aspects that has to do with the social aspect of our life. As Muslims, we are meant to honor all human beings that we come in contact with. And honoring a guest as, as mode in which we have to relate to them as Muslims. Alas, let us realize that as Muslims, all our deeds are meant to be for him. He rightly informed of us of this in Quran 51, verse 56, where he said, Amal kalak to the jinn, wa lehis abudun. They have not created genes and mankind except to worship him. So you believe that we are worshiping Allah. That means all what we are going to do as human beings are to be directed towards the worship of Allah. That is why Rasulullah Sallam, the prophet of Islam, told us in various hadiths, but the common of that hadith is in that hadith where the Prophet Sallam said, oh, whoever believes in Allah on the last day should honor his guest. It says for that, whoever believes in Allah on the last day should be good to his neighbors. And whoever I believe in Allah in th and the last day should either speak good or keep quiet. Looking at this hadith and plethora of, of others, in this regard, being good to our, to our guest is attached to our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you talk about believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, followed by the last day, and the first time, now bring forth honoring of guest. So if you, who, if you want to look at who is a guest, a guest is synonymous with visitor, someone that doesn't stay with us in a, in a, on, a, on a normal day. Someone that comes around to see us. So a guest can be a friend, can be a family relation, can be anybody whatever, can be a Muslim or non-Muslim. So how do we welcome a guest in Islam? If you are to welcome a guest, looking at that hadith, where, where the first Salam said, whoever believes in Allah and the last day should honor his guest, we know that there are some steps that we need to follow while honoring our guest. The first one is to welcome our guest with Warm embrace, warm embrace and greeting to welcome them with a smile. Even though you might not, even though the guest might be an expected guest or unexpected guest, you have to meet them with cheerful countenance. Just like in another hadith where Prophet Salam told us that smiling, meeting a brother of yours in, with good countenance is charity. If you bear this in mind with the first hadith and this hadith as well, we know that to welcome a guest. Is charity, and to welcome a guest with a smile is also charity. We welcome our guests in good, in, with good countenance, even though we might not be expecting the guest. And looking at this month, you know, you might want to do a lot of deeds. I want to read my Quran. I want to do iftar as a Muslim woman. But if a guest comes knocking, we are meant to receive that guest with what, with good countenance, with smile. After we receive the guest, we are meant to make sure that the guest is comfortable. You know, we, if you talk about guests or visitors, like I've rightly said, a guest is someone that is not staying with us, that comes around. So the guest might be someone that is spending few minutes, few hours, some days. If it's such a guest that is spending a day or night with us, we need to make sure that we get an, a, a comfortable environment for that guest by showing such a person the room that that person might stay in whenever he or she is with us. After welcoming the guest, the next is what to entertain the guest. How do we entertain a guest? We, we, have, entertain, we have welcomed the guest with, with, with smile, with count, good countenance. The next is for us to, what, to, to entertain the guest with drink and food. If, now that we are in the month of Ramadan, we might not necessarily give food and drink. But outside the month of Ramadan, 
when a guest comes calling, we are meant to entertain them with, with drink. And the savior of drink is, what, is water. So even if it's water that we have at home, Alas Manatala will put his baraka in it because we are doing that based on the injunction of Alas Manatala because we are want to get reward, that reward from Alas Manatala, knowing fully well that all our deeds are for Allah alone. So we honor the guests with water and the drink can be as simple as this. Now in this month, when the guest comes calling, if want, the guests want to do our iftar with us, after we're coming there, that means we break our fast with, with water and whatever we have, dates and other things that we want to welcome the guests with. If, if, after we have made sure that our, our guest is comfortable, we've entertained the guest, we now listen, we, we, we accommodate the guest by engaging in conversation. Someone that has left each, he or her house to come visiting us has something that she want to, he or she wants to share with us. It might be something, it might be good news, it might be uh, something bothering his or her mind. Whatever the, such person has come for to it, we are meant to listen and engage in such conversation. While engaging in conversation, you must know that whatever we might be we might be discussing during this month and even outside the month must be something that doesn't have to do with unlawful acts or unlawful deeds. So we must make sure that we refrain from unlawful talks, things that have to do with gossip, by writing, but we should honor her or we should honor him or her by listening to what he or she has to say. So if something bothering him is or her mind, we are meant to guide her through and share with her and if she's sharing joy with us we are meant to we are meant to share the, the, the joy with her and felicitate with her after we might have done that the guest too that is coming has a duty a responsibility towards us and what is that responsibility the first responsibility that a guest has towards the host is to inform the host or the hostess of his or her coming so in case the guest did not inform us we should not shut the door away from the guest like i told us earlier either the guest is uh, i mean is, is expected or unexpected guest we are meant to receive them with with good containers so after the guests might have uh, informed us and on coming we we do the right thing that is expected of us to do that another thing that is expected of the guest that is coming is, is to hasten his or our visit especially in this month of ramadan and this uh present month if you go check in on someone a neighbor or a friend or or whatever we are meant to hasten up our visits so that we don't waste the time of that person that we went visiting so also if, if, if a guest comes calling to us we might not hasten him or out but we should what we should encourage the person on the use of time in a diplomatic manner such that we both will not waste our time if you look at how the early muslims have been able to welcome the get their guests ranging from the prophet starting from prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Allah informed us of our prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam received guests even though he, he didn't know that they were angels. Allah told us about this in Quran 57, in Quran 51 verse 27, 24 to 27. We are Allah informed us of how prophet, prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was able to receive the guests. When some guests came, he, he entertained them with, with a calf. He didn't have anything at home, but he, he ordered his is his household to bring forth a roasted calf for them and thereafter he, he, he said they should eat like i told us earlier you want we welcome a guest with 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 good containers with greetings that was what prophet ibrahim that was what he did in those in that those verses that i've said like around 51 verse 24 to 27. he welcomed them with peace and they returned the greeting with peace and he ordered his household to bring forth food for them and thereafter the angels did not eat and he asked them will you not eat and before you realize that you're even agents, but he has welcomed them. That is the examples of how we are meant to welcome our guests. In the same way, during the time of Prophet Muhammad Salam, Abu Tali Arozi al Anu, there came a guest calling into his household. The guest was a traveler. And he has nothing in his in his household at that point in time. But he ordered his wife, Umu Tolia Rose al Anu, to prepare the remaining food that they have in the house for the, for the guest. When it was a time for them to eat, Having known that the food will not be enough for the household, she, she, the wife, they, 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 have, they both knew that the food will not be enough and they knew what they are going to do. So while they were eating, they switched off the candlelight and the guest was eating. While they were pretending to be eating, while they were not eating. So and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed the Prophet Salam of what that single that they did. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, based on that act, revealed uh, a, a, an ayah 
saying that there are some oh, there are some of you that prefer others to themselves. That is in Swaso Ashri Quran 59 verse 9. We are lesser that they are amongst you who prefer others to themselves and they are not covetous and they do this because they are they are those that they will be successful. These are the examples of those who we need to emulate. For us as Muslim as Muslim, who wants the pleasure of Allah at all times, we must know that hospitality in Islam is not Again, saying we should not underestimate any act and as simple as entertaining a guest, knowing fully well that all our deeds are reckoned to by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because our main purpose of existence is, is to worship Allah. So we must know that hospitality is that entertaining a guest is tied to the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as stated in that hadith. The verse Salam said that whoever believes in Allah and the last date should accommodate his guest. The Sahaba ask, how do we accommodate, should, should accommodate his guests with his right? The Sahaba ask, how do we accommodate a, our guests with his right? He said, a guest is entitled to a day and a night. And after that, three days for charity. And whatever beyond that is charity. To tell us that even as a guest, if we want to go calling, we should not spend beyond our time. We should be considerate of our, of our host and not cause discomfort to them. So also... Whoever wants to receive a guest should not cause discomfort to the guest because by the time we start showing, uh, uh, we start showing bad countenance, uh, we, we are not accommodating the guest. The guest will know that such person is not welcome. That is not welcome in our house, and the, the guest might decide to leave. So we should be accommodating to all, either our friends, our neighbors, our families, whenever they come calling at our door, and, and we know that our door is is to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala because. If you, if you relate it to that hadith where Allah SWT said, where the Prophet Salam said, whoever believes in Allah and the last day should honor his guest. We know therefore that to treat our guest honorably, honorably is attached to our faith. So it's a triangle, it's like a triangle. Believe in Allah in, and the last day and to honor the guest. So it, the, the hospitality is like a triangle. The host the guest and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward us immensely. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it possible for us that whatever we might be learning now and thereafter should be a for us in this world and the year after. That is for Deen, Al-Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for the remembering Allah and rise for the month of Ramadan. Oh, Ramadan That is for zakah to cure our greed When we give our money to those in need That is for salamun alaykum Peace be with you, alaykum as-salam